so we have uh, some people in our team that have a hard time finding things to improve okay and this morning i have one of those people that was telling uh, our shop floor manager yeah it's really hard to find things to improve and then the shop floor manager came to me and we all came with that person and with the shop floor manager to this area of work it's here so we are all of this and what do I tell him? Okay, uh, his name is Beto. Beto, uh, let's just find 10 improvements. Not 20, only 10 improvements. What can you see? I said to him, stand here in this point with me, look around, what is not good? What can we improve? And we found 15 improvements. I only asked for 10. So, this is a tool, no place for this tool. This looks like a piece of scrap, but it's actually a tool they use. This is on the floor. This doesn't have a name, it's also a tool. The cables are on the floor. There were a couple of jackets hanging there. No place for jackets. That is not needed anymore. We have three chargers. We have lots of trash hidden everywhere. We have here no place for the pens, no place for this, no place for this charger. These tools over here, they have no names. This is a tool. It might be here, it might be there, it needs a place. So, in just two or three minutes, we found more than 15 opportunities for improvement. So that is my job, to help them see ways, see the improvements. Because if you let them just do routine stuff, they will never be able to uh, put the high speed and get themselves in the improvement mode. So, you need to help your people, you need to be there on the shop floor to see the struggles, help them realize that they are struggling, because some, many times they don't even realize they are struggling. You have to keep repeating, 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 training, 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 help them to see waste. That's the only way, for me at least. Okay, thanks a lot guys, take care, bye bye.